Number 9. Chris and Sherry Coleman One morning in 2009, police found a mother and her two sons dead in their Illinois home. Someone had strangled 31-year-old Sherry Coleman, 11-year-old Garrett and 9-year-old Gavin in their beds. Someone scrawled disturbing statements like, I have been watching and you have paid across the walls in black and red spray paint. Sherry's husband, Chris, was at the gym when the officers arrived. He had called and asked them to check on his wife when she didn't answer her phone. Several months earlier, he claimed he received an anonymous letter threatening to murder his wife and kids. Another one came just weeks before the triple murder. It made little sense that someone would want to hurt the family of seemingly devout and wholesome evangelical Christians. They seemed happy, and the six-figure salary that Chris earned as head of security for Joyce Mayer Ministries afforded a comfortable existence. But there were problems behind closed doors. Chris was unhappy in his marriage and started having an affair with one of Sherry's friends, who he often saw while traveling for work. Detectives traced the threatening letters to the man's laptop, and medical experts determined Chris had killed Sherry and her kids hours before he left his house for the gym. The evidence continued to pile up against him, painting the picture of a man who wanted out of his marriage but was afraid that he'd lose his high-paying job if he left Sherry because his religious employer frowned on divorce. The courts found Chris guilty of killing his wife and children on the two-year anniversary of the murders. He received three life sentences, but maintains his innocence, and he is fighting for a new trial. Number 8. Pascal Duvier During Paris Fashion Week in 2016, five thieves dressed as police officers entered a luxury apartment building and threatened the concierge with a gun. They forced him to take them up to Kim Kardashian's apartment and unlock her door. Then, they robbed her at gunpoint, tying her up and locking her in the bathroom as they rifled through her belongings for valuables. The burglars made off with $10 million of the star's jewelry and two cell phones. Kardashian's bodyguard, 43-year-old Pascal Duvier, was accompanying her sisters Courtney and Kendall to a nightclub. He arrived back at the apartment just minutes after the thieves left. Kim's insurance company, AIG, slapped Pascal with a $6.1 million lawsuit, alleging that he had failed to protect her or report multiple security breaches at the building, including a gate with a missing lock and a broken intercom. Just weeks before the robbery, Duvier's security company had filed for bankruptcy. Despite his nearly 20-year history of protecting high-profile celebrities like the Black Eyed Peas, Justin Timberlake, Katy Perry, and Christina Aguilera, the business racked up debts of over a million dollars. Duvier appears to still be working as a bodyguard, despite the financial troubles and negative publicity the robbery brought to his life. Last July, they saw him protecting Maroon 5 lead singer Adam Levine during an outdoor workout in Miami. Number 7. Hugo Hesney A professional photographer was snapping photos of Justin Bieber in an arcade outside Atlanta in 2014 when he got a little too close for comfort, at least in the opinion of one of the singer's bodyguards. 32-year-old Hugo Hesney, who was working as a member of Bieber's security detail, he allegedly followed photographer Jason Winslow into the parking lot and stole the man's $10,000 camera. Police recovered the camera from Hesney's vehicle and charged him with felony theft. At the beginning of the incident, Hesney told police he hadn't taken the camera, but after officers found it in an SUV used by the Bieber's crew, Hesney said he just wanted to delete photos taken by the photographer near the arcade in Sandy Springs. The court sentenced Hesney under Georgia's first offender statute. This means the crime won't appear as a conviction in his criminal history if he completes the terms of his sentence. He pleaded no contest to two misdemeanor charges of disorderly conduct, and Fulton County Supervisor Court Judge Ural Glanville sentenced him to 45 days in jail, followed by 22 months of probation. Hesney was also ordered to perform 200 hours of community service and Bieber released him from his team. 
In a previous incident in South Florida, photographer Jeffrey Binion accused Hesney of roughing him up on a sidewalk outside a recording studio when he was snapping pictures of Bieber. The singer settled privately with the victim. Number 6. Russell Flowers When Jordanian princess Haya bint al-Hussein's marriage to Dubai's billionaire ruler Sheikh Mohammed al Maktoum fell apart, she began having an affair with her married bodyguard, 37-year-old Russell Flowers. It started in 2017 and went on for two years, during which time Princess Haya's husband became increasingly suspicious that she was hiding something. Sheikh Mohammed divorced his wife, and it wasn't long before the entire world knew about the affair between Haya and Flowers. The bodyguard's marriage also broke down. Haya reportedly bought a farmhouse for Flowers to live in when he and his wife of four years separated. But the highly publicized scandal and his entanglement with the wife of one of the world's richest and most powerful men was apparently a lot to handle, and he went into hiding. Rumors circulated about Flowers allegedly blackmailing Haya into a $7 million payout. His friends told Mail Online that it wasn't true and that Flowers wasn't the type of person to blackmail someone. They clarified he had received $1.2 million as part of a non-disclosure agreement to keep the relationship a secret. Haya accused other members of her security team of blackmailing her. News of the affair left Flowers' wife devastated. Her friends accused Haya of seducing the man with expensive gifts, including a Range Rover and a vintage hunting rifle with a five-figure price tag. It's unclear whether the pair are still an item, as Flowers avoids the spotlight at all costs. Number 5. Michael Arana Three years after one of Justin Bieber's former bodyguards went to jail for stealing a photographer's camera, the singer's security team found itself once again in the national spotlight. Authorities accused 32-year-old Michael Arana, who worked as Bieber's head of security, of rear-ending a police car in 2017, leaving two Miami-Dade officers injured. Police charged him with DUI, causing property damage or injury, and leaving the scene of an accident. It wasn't the first time Arana had found himself in trouble with the law. In 2013, police accused one of Bieber's other headline-making bodyguards, Hugo Hesney, of attacking a police officer. Arana allegedly became loud and disorderly toward the cops, demanding to know why they arrested Hesney. Officers had to subdue the man, who they claimed had taken a challenging fighting stance. Many have questioned whether Bieber took part in any of the crimes they have arrested his security guards for over the years. But it appeared as though he wasn't involved in this incident, yet he has had plenty of his own legal problems to deal with. Arana has reportedly been Bieber's bodyguard for years. In 2014, Arana was seen leaving jail with Bieber after the star was arrested in Miami Beach. Police arrested Bieber on suspicion of DUI, driving without a valid license, and resisting arrest without violence. Number 4. Brian Keith Jones During an inspection at a Border Patrol checkpoint in Texas in 2012, police found drugs and a loaded handgun on a tour bus belonging to the rapper Nelly. A Hudspeth County Sheriff spokesperson said that a dog detected controlled substances on the bus after it had pulled into the checkpoint in Sierra Blanca, Texas. Police ordered seven people off the bus while cops searched the inside, where they found a loaded 45 caliber pistol and copious amounts of illicit substances inside a duffel bag and other containers. The bus was stopped at the same Border Patrol checkpoint that other celebrities have been stopped and searched at. The social network movie star Army Hammer, rapper Snoop Dogg, and singers Willie Nelson and Fiona Apple have all been stopped for possession of drugs there. Nelly's longtime bodyguard, Brian Keith Jones, took the fall for the banned items, but pleaded not guilty to felony drug charges. Whether the contraband actually belonged to Jones remains a source of controversy to this day, with some believing that he was covering up for someone else, while others see no reason not to believe the man was guilty. Nelly released a statement claiming that nobody else on the bus, including himself, knew about the illegal stash. He said that he was angry at Jones for putting everyone else on the bus at risk. But news about the case seems to have gone silent at some point, 
and it's unclear how things played out. Number 3. Barry Manneke After divorcing in 1992, Princess Diana and Prince Charles both admitted to having affairs outside their marriage. Diana had several lovers over the years, but she fell the hardest for her bodyguard, Barry Manneke. After her death, someone released a collection of private voice tapes that Diana had recorded with her vocal coach, Peter Satellan, to the public. In them, she describes her deep feelings for Manneke, calling him her greatest love. Their relationship wasn't physical, but the connection was strong enough for Diana to feel that way, and they became even closer as the princess and her husband grew increasingly distant from one another. She even said that she would have left her lavish life behind to just have a normal, happy life with the man. They transferred Manneke to another work assignment when his bond with Diana felt too close to be an innocent friendship. He died in a motorcycle accident in 1987. After the details of the emotional affair came to light, some speculated that Manneke's death wasn't an accident, but a murder to ensure that he was permanently out of Diana's life. An inquest found no evidence of this being the case, but this did not convince everyone, and there have been rumors about his Suzuki motorcycle being tampered with before the fatal crash occurred. The bike had crashed into a car being driven by 17-year-old Nicola Chop, who later said that she had felt pressure into taking responsibility for the accident. She claimed that she had seen lights belonging to a mystery car near the crash site, causing her to wonder if there were more sinister forces at play, even though the authorities had determined that there were no other cars involved. Number 2. Fake Cop Entourage Prison officials had recently released controversial Brooklyn-based rapper Takashi69 from prison in 2020 when his team of bodyguards got in a violent scuffle with a man who tried recording cell phone footage of the celebrity. As soon as they noticed this happening, the five men began shouting at the onlooker who was with his boyfriend in Harlem. He sped away in his car and the guards gave chase in three SUVs with flashing lights and sirens. When the man tried flagging down a cop, a retired NYPD detective, who now worked for the rapper, flashed his expired police ID card and told the officers that the victim had threatened them with a gun. The chase ended with the SUVs boxing the victim's car. Takashi's guards pulled the man out of his vehicle and roughed him up, causing his cell phone to fall out of his hand and onto the ground. They allegedly stomped on the phone and made it clear to the victim that they had a gun and a taser in their possession. The bizarre scuffle abruptly ended when some real cops approached the scene, causing the guards to flee. Detectives caught up with the suspects last year and charged them all with first and second degree robbery and criminal impersonation of a police officer. Number 1. Kumar Hegde Police arrested the bodyguard of a Bollywood actress named Kangana Ranaut last year after he allegedly promised to marry a woman and then vanished. Kumar Hegde was staying in Mumbai when he convinced the victim that he was interested in a serious relationship that they would soon take to the next step of marriage. The pair knew each other for eight years, during which Hegde tried to convince the woman to move in together. One day he told her that his mother was sick and that he needed to travel to his hometown of Hegadahali. He borrowed $650, 50,000 rupees from his girlfriend, claiming he needed it for expenses related to his ailing mother. The woman could not reach Hegde after that, so she filed a police report about his deception. In her complaint, she pointed out that she had tried to refuse a physical relationship before marriage, but Hegde had forced one on her and had abused her several times. A team of police from Mumbai caught up with the suspect in Hegadahali and learned that Hegde had traveled there with plans to marry someone else. They arrested him for cheating the victim out of a promised marriage. The victim and her friend had also traveled to the town to witness the first step in their pursuit of justice. Thanks for watching. If you were a celebrity, would you rather hire a dedicated bodyguard who weighs 120 pounds soaking wet, or someone who's big, strong, and perfectly capable of defending you, but secretly can't stand you? Let me know in the comments below.